Hi everybody, this is Maria with Emma B. Reborns. Today I am making a short video to show you guys the progress I am making on this little guy, Tanner. I am rooting his hair and it is coming along very nicely. He is definitely a cutie. And the lighting in this room is really bad, so I apologize if you can't pick up all of the detail on this kit, but it turned out really, really nice. He's super adorable, has blue eyes. But anyway, I wanted to see if I could show you the inside of the head so you can get an idea of what it looks like on the inside. There is about maybe a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of hair coming through the vinyl and so by the time I'm done with this the entire head should look like that very dark hair coming through so yeah it's turning out very very nice I'm happy with it so there is Tanner and I wanted to give you an update on <clears throat> Dakota. This is Dakota. I am giving him a really, really newborn skin tone. And I think you can see the modeling really well on the kit. And yesterday I started on his blushing. I still have to do the veining on him. And let me take a look at the the limbs so I can show you. Here are the feet and the legs. Let me move it over to this towel so you can see it better than on the blanket. So there are his legs. And like I said, I'm giving him a very newborn look. So. He does have a lot of modeling, which I'm really happy with. And then here are his arms. Today I ordered his body, and I should be getting that in the next couple of days. So I think I'm going to give him very sparsely rooted um, blonde hair, I think. I haven't made up my mind yet. His eyebrows are barely there, if you can see them. I think they're coming through. So I'm thinking maybe, since our eyebrows are usually a little bit darker than our hair, I think I'm going to root him in a blonde. And just very sparse rooting because he is um, a preemie, and preemies don't usually have a lot of hair. So I think that would be the best look for him. And uh, I also wanted to show you guys some kits that I ordered and received a couple of days ago. Of course, I'm trying to do it with one hand, so bear with me. Here is this guy. And you know what? For some reason, I have daughters, so I tend to to always want to make my kids boys. I don't know what it is, but I think it it's just stems from my desire to have a son, and unfortunately, um, I had really hard deliveries with both my daughters. So we didn't have our boy. We wanted to have three or four kids, and we stopped at two. But if you can see the difference in the coloring of the kids, look at that. I don't know what the name of that kid is, but I can certainly put it down below for everyone so they can reference it. And here are his legs. And they have really nice detailing. So I can't wait to get started on this kit. Look at that. Very cute. And then his arms and hands and there they are so yeah I love to compare after I've painted a kit I love to compare the difference in the coloring from the finished look to how it started and it amazes me 
how different and you you don't realize it until you have it right next to each other you just realize exactly how much work you've put into it and let's see so that's oh that's Daisy that's her name Daisy there it is and I got this kit from Bountiful Baby I tend to get most of my kits from Bountiful Baby unless they are a custom where the customer has requested um, sorry guys I'm opening the bag with my teeth um, if my customer has requested a different kit maybe to make to make their um, their reborn look like their actual baby I will look for a kit and um, will go with whatever kit they choose but I, I do tend to get them from Bountiful Baby if I'm just going to list them on eBay because I can keep the uh, cost of the or the start price on eBay much lower than if I was to spend you know say a hundred dollars on a kit then I can't afford to list it for a hundred dollars on eBay and let's see this kit is what am I looking at Grant and this is a big big baby I think uh, he is going to end up wearing size I believe six to nine months or nine to twelve months so he is pretty big I think this is probably the biggest baby I've made or I, I will be making and there are the feet and the legs and if we can compare let's compare the tiny preemie just so you can get an idea of this um, size difference. So there is the preemie, the big baby, and Tanner is probably about 20 inches, so I think he's an average size baby. But look at the size of Grant's head. I am going to have so much fun rooting <laughs> this baby. It's going to take me forever. Look at that. He is huge. So I better take my time on him. Make sure he turns out really cute. And let me go ahead and grab another one. And let's take a look. This is Spencer. Look at Spencer. I got this because... Let me, let, let me open the bag. Again, I should have done this before I started the video. Hindsight is 2020. Okay, and there's Spencer. He has such a cute look on his face. He is very, very adorable. And I love his limbs. Look at that. Look at his baby feet. They are so, so cute. I can't wait to get started on this one as well. And there is one hand, and his other hand, and out comes his other leg. If I can pull it out of the bag. So there are his feet. For some reason, <clears throat> I'm really attracted to the bottom of my baby's feet. I always tend to pay special attention to the limbs, especially the bottom of the feet. I think they're so important, so so beautiful when they're done. And these are Grant's Grant's arms. He does have full arms, and I believe the legs. You can either get a body that has um, the joints, so it would make it a three-quarter leg legs or you can get the body that makes the legs full and I think that is what I'm gonna go with and here are his the inside of his hands and they are super cute I can't wait to get started on these and I think I have a couple more so I hope you like looking at kits <laughs> I I do myself. I will open the bags and just start looking through them. And I just love 
spending time. Now, okay, let's talk about this kit for a minute. This is Celeste, okay? And I am trying to decide whether I should make this baby Caucasian or if I should make him biracial or maybe Hispanic. So if you can just comment down below and let me know what you think, that would be awesome because he is one of those babies that can go either way and I sometimes have a hard time deciding whether they should be um, Caucasian or ethnic or biracial. This baby is super chubby and here are his arms and look at the hands oh my goodness look at those hands this baby has rolls everywhere so so adorable look at that oh my gosh I had not taken a close look at this kit but look at all that fat chubby chubby baby he's gonna be adorable super adorable let's see and here are his feet and legs. Now I have body parts everywhere. <laughs> Let me put them aside. I better not lose track of what belongs to who, huh? I'm getting carried away with all these. I'm just super excited to get started on these and keeping them together. I think I can pr pretty much figure it out. but. So there is Spencer, super cute, and we decided this was Grant with his big limbs. You can't miss those. And then we have, this one I think is only 18 inches, so it's a small newborn. And that's Daisy. And I think this one, I think I've decided I am going to make him biracial. Yeah, he's super cute. And then Celeste, that I really, I really can't decide. So maybe you can all help me decide what to make him. And like I said, I call all my kits a him. But once I start painting them, that's when I decide whether I want to make them a boy or a girl. After I start painting them and I, and I look at them and I ask my husband and my, my girl, do you think this is a boy or a girl? And um, I'm usually the one that ends up deciding. <laughs> but I like to get their feedback. So, okay, and this is Jake. Okay, let's talk about Jake for a minute. Let me pull out all his limbs. Jake is also a big baby. I think he's like 21 to 22 inches. But look at the detail on his lips. Isn't that cute? It's like he is biting down on one of his lips. So it's just so, so cute. And that is what attracted me to this kit when I first saw it on, on eBay. I think I, I saw the, um, the prototype and I just thought it was so absolutely adorable. So here are the legs, and he has a lot of detail on the feet. There's the bottom of his feet. He almost looks like he just came out of the bath. <laughs> There's so much wrinkles. And there are the hands. And yeah, he does, for some reason, this kit looks like he just came out of the bath. He has a lot of those wrinkles coming through but his face is so so super cute I can't wait to get started on him and so anyway I said this was going to be a short video and it's already at 14 minutes so I better better go but wish me luck with baby Tanner I hope to get him finished by this weekend and I will get started on Dakota I still have some painting to do on him. I want to give him more of a newborn look. But so far so good. I'm happy with the way he's turning out. So I will talk to you all later. Have a wonderful weekend. 
and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, take care.